Hi everyone, I'm coming on. I was in the middle of doing a card tutorial when I realised that my camera wasn't filming. So, I'm just going to talk you through what I've done so far and you can join in with me. Right, so first of all, these are the two previews. This one here, the white background I have coloured using bundled sage and then I've stamped an impression using a bigger stamp, um, a snowflake stamp using the bundled sage so it actually looks a bit more prominent. And I've used some holographic mirrorboard card to decorate it. The paper, the pattern paper at the background is from Glad Tidings, which is a Dovecraft paper line. I have saved paper for cutting out under the mat board because no one sees it and it is quite a substantial amount of paper if you're making a few of these um, that could easily be used for a 3x3 three three card and something else or a bookmark whatever so don't throw away excess paper like that because it's expensive to buy so that was my green one and I've done this one using festive berries and I stamped it on with fire brick and I used the opposite. I cut the paper line, eh, the cardstock out for the wording on green mirror board and I used the red holographic as the banner. So it's the opposite of what I've done on this one here. So that was the samples that I had. And I was in the middle of filming this when I realised that I wasn't on camera. So what I done was I used my mat layer and I stamped on a holly branch using bundled sage. And I just turned my stamp around so that it was um, random. And then I stressed the edges with the bundled sage. Because there's quite a lot of white in that, it's wanting to blur. But anyway, that was what I was doing. The paper I have cut out in white this time, but I'm going to glitter it. Um, I have put down the holly. I put down Merry Christmas. So I'm just putting my other holly leaves down. And I'm just using the neatest tacky glue. Oops. And the glitter will make it stand and pop out properly. I hope. <laughs> Famous last words there. Yeah, quite like that. So I have got my berries sitting about. Where have I went to? And to stay, and to stay. That's fine. So I'll just push them aside slightly just now, and that will begin on there. The measurements for the paper line. The pattern paper is cut at 14.3 centimetres by 10 centimetres. My mat board is cut at 13.8 centimetres. that right? Yeah, 13.8 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres. And it just gives it a nice border around it. I've then just put a layer of the designer paper across the middle, a layer of white cardstock across the middle, put my holly leaves down, put my words down, and I'm just going to sparkle them now, hopefully. Um, 
if I can find the right pen, hopefully. Right, so... Da -da. Right, we'll see how we go with that for now. If that doesn't work, we'll go to plan B. Right, so this is the it's a red glitter Sakura pen. I am going to do the berries with that, hopefully. It will be enough. And I have got the clear star Sakura pen for my words and the holly leaves because I don't want too much on them. I just want to go round. So I am just going to come round these parts here. A wee wiggly bit there. I'm just going to clean it off. And then I'm just going to put the indentations in. I think that's actually running right out. I might need to find my other one. I have got another few of these lying about. I just need to source them. I'm just going to sketch around that. Yeah, I'm just going to need to source the other one because I think we're just about out of that one. Here we go. Hoping this is the right one. Let me just see, I see the codes on it. Yep, it's the right one. I just didn't want to start when it was the wrong code. Going up the indentation. Can't really see that one. There we go. I'm just trying to see the indentations on it. That's there. And there. So I'll just add those ones in again because they're a bit light. But you can see the hollow leaves there now are just sparkly. So I'm just going to do these ones up here. Perfect. Thank you. 
and then we'll just colour the lettering in. So I'm just going to lightly colour over the top of it. You don't need to be too precise. Because it's a sparkle that will catch people's eye. And I have started up a new blog. It is not just going to be crafts, which I will obviously include, but it's also going to include a bit about my health, which I don't really like to mention too much on my channel because I know it can upset or trigger some people. So I decided that a blog is the best area for it. That way, if anyone feels it's too much information for them, they can choose not to read it and they're not missing anything. So that was my idea behind that. Um, but it will also have some things in it with the kids and my other half, uh, my extended family, crafts, just general interests in my day to day life. So there we go, that's the glittering all done, which I think looks really funny. Um, unless you can actually see it all in one. It just looks a bit odd just now. But I'm going to add the the red on now with the berries. So I'm going to glue them on first because it's easier to colour them when they're, they're down fast. There's one. Pick it up and place it on. Oops, bit of my hair. Yep, a health issue because my hair falls out. Oh, told you it's all fun. Right, another berry. And these berries will overlap. And then we've got a small berry. Which I'll put there. Oops, come on. There we go. Then we'll add the other ones up here. That's a large berry. So I'll leave the link to my blog down below. Um, as I said, it's just a nice way to share things and um, have all kind in one place as such. So, um, let them glued down, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of colour with this red Sakura, and it's actually really nice because it actually goes with the red off the paper line. It's not a very bright red. It's quite um, dull. Turn that round a bit so I can get in there. Perfect. Oops, 
Abhilfe. Abhilfe in Form von einem Tauchfinder. So, that's those ones then. Oops, that's what it is. My lab signs that are fallen. Oh. Too much stuff and not enough room to put it on. Light blue to do this one. Yeah, they'll like that. And there's a nice metallic -y feel of that glitter. It's down. It's not too bright. And what I might actually do is actually add a little bit of um, crystal glitter glue to it, just to help the berries pop a wee bit. So I'm just ever so slightly adding a little bit of glitter glue. And this is the Dovecraft. Crystal. It's um to me it's not as good as stickles. It's maybe a little bit too thick at times, but it does the job, and it is a lot cheaper. But there we go. And I think that's quite pretty. I don't think it's too um, over the top. And when it's on the card, it just looks really pretty. So I hope you have a wee go at that. Um, and as I said, there's different variations of it. Um, you've got the red. Sorry. You've got the green. You've got the white and then you've got the red. And you can mix and match with the colours. Um, I mean, you can try other colours um, that have been now more associated with Christmas. The blue and silver, the purple and silver, which I really love that combination. Um, try mixing them into it. It just might surprise you how much you actually enjoy working with them. So... I hope that's gave you a bit of inspiration for your new card ideas for this holiday season coming up. So I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.